All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting over here in the Freedom office. Uh, had a late night last night. Actually drove back last night from the IV8888. 10th anniversary range day. Absolutely a blast down there. I'm going to put a couple videos at the end of this thing so you guys can see what the heck's going on. Uh, we survived the hurricane. I was going to go down on Friday and do some serious camping. Uh, later on this week, I'm actually going to the Memorial 3 gun and we're going to be doing some camping. So I'm going to show you the entire camping rig. I actually had a trailer hitch installed on my car so I could pull my little trailer with all the stuff on it. So it's going to be a lot of fun <laughs> sharing this adventure with you. Uh, and again, it is the adventure. That's part of it. That's the experience of having fun, relaxing, and making the most of the situation and your surroundings and the environment. So anyway, we survived the hurricane, uh, but I wasn't able to go down to IV-88 until Saturday morning because of the hurricane we had. Came through Charlotte. Wasn't going to leave my family here by themselves, uh, but that's it. So once I got back last night, I received an email uh, from my good friend Victor talking about the federal court throwing out Mexico's absurd lawsuit against the U.S. gun industry. Guys, this is what we get to. Uh, this is like the uh, Highland Park uh, lawsuit for those people trying to sue Bud's Gun Shop, Smith & Wesson, and the others. See, so here's the funny thing. Uh, talking with Cal, my good friend from Optics Planet, KB32 Tech, uh, get your 5% discount. Also, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Hal over there at Callaway Ballistics. You get uh, free shipping with $200 order for using KB32 TAC as your discount code. Go to my website, uh, kb32tac.com, for a lot of cool deals. We're going to be doing a lot of cool deal stuff uh, just because I talked to my good friend, 704 Tactical, and man, I tell you what, he is an awesome fella. And he's just blown it up, man, with 598,000 subscribers as of yesterday. I can remember when he and I were meeting the gun shows with two or 300 each. So <laughs> too funny. All right. So anyway, let's get to it. I did a story on this thing when it first came out a couple months ago. And it's just, it's ironic and it's weird and it's just pathetic how these guys just continue to try to find a loophole in order to basically take out the gun industry. They'll, they'll stop at nothing to take the gun industry out. And it's, and it's incredible. So here we go. This is from Reuters. And again, Victor, thank you very much for making me aware of this. U.S. judge dismisses Mexico's $10 billion lawsuit against gun makers, Mexico to appeal. Go screw yourself. Uh, this is September 30th. A U.S. judge on Friday dismissed Mexico's $10 billion lawsuit seeking to hold U.S. gun manufacturers responsible for facilitating the trafficking of a deadly flood of weapons across the U.S.-Mexico border to drug cartels. Man, how about let's do this? How about we sue Mexico for all the fentanyl that's coming into the country? How about we sue Mexico for not keeping people from crossing our borders willfully without any restraint? Mallorca is over there saying, oh, the border's under control. Freaking Kamala Harris is saying, oh, the border's under control. But no one visits the border. No one is there. You want to hire $100,000 IRS, 100,000 IRS agents, but you don't want to put any more border patrol uh, officers out there to protect us, the citizens, but you want to go after us, the citizens. The decision by Chief Judge Dennis Saylor in the federal court in Boston is a victory for Smith & Wesson, Sturm, Ruger, and other companies accused of undermining Mexico's strict gun laws by designing and marketing and selling military style. Yeah, because, you know, they, they, they sent out all those magazines. I was hanging out last week with the guys from CMMG and uh, talking to a good friend over there at Recoil Magazine. I can just I imagine they've got it a Mexican edition or a Hispanic edition, let's just say that. Mexico said it would appeal the decision. This suit by the Mexican government has received worldwide recognition has been considered a turning point in the discussion around gun control, gun industry's responsibility for violence. And How are, again, here to, here's the deal. The Highland Park people, they're over there suing a manufacturer. The, the sale was legal. This guy passed the background check in Illinois. All right, I had to interject here real quickly because I forgot to detail a very important part of the story about Highland Park. Highland Park has a border, right? A city line. The store that they're talking about and listed in the lawsuit is not inside the city limits where they banned so-called assault rifles. Uh, so what they're saying is this guy should not have been able to purchase this firearm because of where he lived. Does that make sense? That's tyranny. That, that is that is tyrants. That that's that is, that is just it boggles my mind how these people think. Because you live in our township, you shouldn't be able to go anywhere outside of the township and purchase anything. 
There you go. So I had to I had to focus on that because that's a very important part. Here we go. Stand by. This is on Illinois. This is not on the manufacturer. This is on you, Pritzker. Uh, Sailor said in the federal law unequivocally bars lawsuits seeking to hold uh, gun manufacturers responsible when people use their guns for the intended purpose, for their intended purpose. He said the law contains several narrow exceptions, but none applied. While the court has considerable sympathy for people of Mexico and none whatsoever for those who traffic guns to Mexico, Mexican criminal organization, it is duty bound to follow the law, Sailor said. Uh, yeah, so here's the deal. Uh, again, it just goes through. I'll put the law, I'll put the link down below. So they're going to continue to fight. They're going to continue to produce lawsuits any way they possibly can. The lawyers are the only people who are going to win in this situation. And they're going to try to kill it. So with that being said, guys, uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below. <laughs> Again, thank you, Victor. Uh, next week, we've got the, uh, what is it? The Memorial Three Gun Competition. Uh, and ran, ran into the long, red-headed three-gun shooter this last weekend. Uh, awesome fella. And then uh, a special thanks to everybody, IV88, Brandy, uh, uh, Chad, and Eric. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate it. With that being said, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. And I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. Not the stupid shit that Maura Healy tries to invent. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom.